Alright guys, this is Doc M and today I have something really special for you. Last week I was in London at the Planet Coaster launch event. The game comes out tomorrow, um, at least the early alpha access. And yeah, we got a chance to check out a lot of the features of the game and I could sit down together with one of the lead developers and go through, through some of the basic features of the game which is really cool here we're taking a little ride on a roller coaster which is yeah this game is all about right um it's about roller coasters and yeah really liked um what i saw there in london was really enjoyable a nice team behind the game and they're really dedicated and I just want to point out though the audio in this video is not really great we had a little bit of a recording set up there but sadly yeah I sounded a little bit muffled and there's some sound glitches here and there but still um, should be some good info for you guys um, I hope you enjoy that and now have fun with about yeah roughly a good half hour of me playing around in the game together with one of the lead developers Enjoy! Alright guys, this is Stockham and yeah, this is live from London. I'm at the Planet Coaster event and I'm not alone. Hi man, how are you doing? Hi. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Hi, I'm, I'm Nick from Frontier Developments, so I'm the head of animation there. So Sweet. I'm joining you today. So yeah, we have a chance today to check out the game a little bit. And I thought, um, yeah, we look at a bit of a pre-made park um, <laughs> first off. It's what is called Kraken Kingdom. Uh, Kraken Kingdom this yeah. is, yeah. This is our pirate themed park. So yeah, take it in guys. I was so far pretty impressed by the stunning looks of the game already. Also by the performance, I have to say, um, it's, it's, it's still an early alpha build of course and I was just talking about um, how the details gonna evolve over time and it's, you, you said you can push it a little bit further. Oh absolutely, yeah, we'll be pushing the graphics even further than this all the way up to launch date. So. Um yeah, there's always little tweaks we can do. At the moment, we've been demoing this at 60 FPS. We're capturing at 30 just for the capture card, but yeah, yeah it's been running at a solid at 60 FPS. And this is pre-alpha code. Yeah, it's, it's pretty great, guys. You have a huge scale to zoom in and out. I mean, check that out all the way up, but you can also go, like, literally <laughs> yeah, down to the floor. I mean, <laughs> it's pretty cool. Obviously, um, like, you want to have the coaster camera, so you just click on a ride like that, and then... We have different camera angles for the ride, I mean, that's not the most exciting ride here, but um, and where's my mouse key? Ah, here we go. Down here, yeah. <laughs> uh, the mm -hmm. mouse sensitivity is a bit low for me, but yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> so yeah, different perspectives you know, for the ride, so you can see the people. So um, you've, you've been doing a lot of these animations, right? For, yeah, absolutely. For the, for the guys, man. It's, We've got a really advanced system with our on-ride uh, animations. We uh, For each person in the cabin, we're actually analyzing the physical effects that are being uh, enforced on that person. So if there's a lot of G-forces going in a certain direction, we've got an animation for that. Oh, if there are certain G-forces that make people sick, we'll have an animation for that. And that's all being calculated on the fly. So when you do eventually build, and it's not in the alpha, but when you do get to build your uh, custom-built coaster, the people on the coasters, all their animations will be reacting to the forces put on them in the ride. So we're putting a ton of detail into the animation. Yeah. We want to really bring the whole park to life. You can see a um, bunch of people standing in line and you can already see a, a huge variety of, of people there. That's something I sometimes didn't like in um, simulation games. That act, like A lot of people were the same, you know, looking oh, the same. Yeah. And obviously, we can see here there is already a lot of variants there. Well, we have a multi-part uh, multi character system, so we, yeah. we design a load of characters, and then the engine breaks up all those characters into pieces, and then reassembles them in random order, so you'll get um, these, you'll hopefully not get too many repeating pieces. Yeah. And again, in the final version, we'll have even more variations. We've got a lot of variations in ethnicity and different clothing styles, and all sorts of, and uh, heavy and light people as well, so we'll get all of that into the pack. You can see here also, um, yeah, the middle of the park was done with the terraforming tool, which is not available yet in the early alpha, um, but will be soon, hopefully. Yes, this is a ni nice example of what you can do with it. Yeah. So we built a little cave and popped a kraken in there. Yeah, uh, it's really fantastic. I mean, <laughs> the kraken, <laughs> it's just cool. <laughs> and also his arms and stuff, those are individual parts, Yeah, individual right? individual yeah. legs that you can just place all around. So if you want yeah. them popping up out of the ground or something, you can. That's amazing. So um, one of the strengths of the game, I already got that from interviews and talking a bit with the guys, is like everything you see here is like made with a modular build system. 
Like, there is prefabs, of course, you know, for the more casual people that just want to slap down a house and whatever and be happy with it. But everything you see here is made from individual parts. You can see that down here. I mean, here we got the different rides. At the moment, there is uh, the coaster building is not in the game yet. Um, but you have the rides, right? The different That's rides right, yeah. We, we have just 11 flat rides here, but we're yeah. going to ship with a lot more. Yeah. And yeah, for the buildings here, you can see um, we have tons and tons already. And there will be more, I heard. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh, this is just the, the two themes that we're going to have in Alpha, the Planet Coaster theme and the Pirate yeah. theme. And uh, these are the pieces for that, but as we add more themes, you'll get more and more pieces and more and more detail that you'll be able to add. Yeah, you can see that those are all all kinds of stuff from decoration. I was pretty impressed with the lighting engine, but we'll try out some building uh, in a few moments. I uh, just wanted to take a look at one of the pre-made parks here, because I found this park really beautiful. It uh, blends into the landscape, and as I said, all these buildings are made from individual segments, so there's pretty much yeah, hardly a, a limit to your own creativity. Whatever you can think about, you can make. Uh, one thing I wondered about, is there a modding API planned? or Not, We mods? haven't announced anything uh, yeah. to modding at the moment. At the moment we're just concentrating on making the customization actually in our game as good as it can yeah. possibly be. Uh, that could be something we look at further down yeah. online, but at the moment we have nothing to yeah. I'm a, I imagine, you know, there will be a lot of downloadable load, blueprints, though, um, from people building crazy buildings. And That's the plan, is that you'll be able to yeah. build, if you build a beautiful castle or something, you'll yeah. be able to cut that out and share that with your friends and so with the community. I guess we go back to the main menu and up to one empty park, so we can do a little bit of building, which one... So it's over here with our little King Coaster okay. character, That's our empty park. There's a bunch of more parks, maybe we have a look at some of them after we played a bit together, oh, yeah, so... Definitely. Um, yeah, this entrance also is made with the modular system. Absolutely, yeah. All of all of this system was built by uh, by one of our um, by one of our producers actually knocked yeah. together this entrance. It's quite nice. Yeah. So yeah, um, here is the path pathways. We have a few of them, a few of them already, and it's a pretty cool system. Um, you're really flexible with it. You can you can do all kinds of shapes. It's not you know bound to a certain grid or so. Um, you can also play with the widths, um, width of certain passes like this, and you can have sh longer and shorter segments um, to pretty much make all kinds of you know angles and variations you want. You can go up, you can go down again, make little bridges and things like that. So um, it's really super flexible, and I mean, yeah, let's look at some of the different pass blocks, and again. Can zoom in super closely. Yeah, all the exquisite detail yeah. all the way. That, that, right that way. looks that looks really cool, actually. It's a nice yeah. shader on that. If you catch the light right, you can see yeah. the reflections across it. And everything. Yeah. So yeah, this is how you would set up a certain pass, and you can make cross sections. And it's um, I I suppose there will be many more as well of those. In the oh future. yeah, as we add more themes, you'll get more and more files yeah. as well. So you can also of course have the, the bridges bendy and then go down again. And, yeah, and so, you can see you've got the uh, the, the supports automatically yeah. get placed as well. Really flexible. I like that. Okay, so when I'm done with placing, how do I end? It? Uh, you can just press escape, or you yeah. can right click. Ah, oh, yeah, there you go. So as you can see, in a matter of a few seconds, I was able to lay out this path. There, it make no sense. Don't judge me on it. <laughs> we were just trying out things here, and I'd say um, let's quickly pop up one let's of the rides right down. Um, yeah. and look how that is done. I mean, what do we have here? We have the Forge, Genie, Hammer Swing, <laughs> Magic Twirl, Rocktopus. <laughs> so they, they vary in size. I mean, some of these are absolutely enormous. Dreaminator. Yeah, we can we can look at some of the models. I mean, here that is the Hammer Swing, and um, that would be a classical ride uh, by holding C. No, Z. Yeah, you can rotate them wherever, however you want. I mean, with a circular ride, it doesn't make that much sense to rotate it. But yeah, if you wanted to, here that is a freefall tower, I would assume. Oh, yeah, yeah. if you keep zooming out. Yeah, we've not messed around with that one. Too. It's a big boy. Okay, let's place that one down. And yeah, now um, pretty much your module pops up um, to finish the ride, and every ride needs an entrance, so you can. Freely place it all around you. That's it, yeah, anywhere really cool. you like, just pop it down. So we make an entrance here, and now we're gonna place an exit. Let's say we're gonna put that here so we funnel people through and have some shops over there later down the line. Perfect. And then, yeah, you can get, add a queue, obviously, and we would 
Do a tool. So you've only got a small length piece at the moment, yeah, so if you yeah. wanted to do yeah. those in bigger chunks, then you could. Okay. And just leave a little bit of space for your ticket booth. Oh, yeah. Ticket booth is needed too. So we come back here a bit, maybe. I don't know if that is enough. We can also put it up here. Yeah, you can always, okay. always work backwards. Yeah. Well. Then you put a ticket booth down. There you go. Boom, that works. People are coming in here. And now you can open the ride. And oh, yeah, we need an exit first. Oh, yeah. So let's grab some pass blocks here again. Let's take. Take those blue ones. I mean, it's not the most beautiful park I ever built, probably in the future. <laughs> but you know, we just want no, to try out. That's your first time. It's your first time ever playing it. Yeah, we want to try out some of the different paths. And you can also—is it possible? Like, if I don't like this path now, I can easily override it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there's no problem there. And then, um, yeah, open up the ride. Okay, like yeah, that. And people will start flocking to it. Let's see. Right, in a few seconds, you'll start to see people coming in through that entrance. Okay. Controls are uh, yeah, pretty much, you know, if you know any city building game or similar games, um, it's automatic. It, you, you get it really quickly and you can quickly get going. Feel that already. So it's rather simple and that's how it should be. But you can make complex things. And um, talking about more complex things, could probably look at, for example, some buildings. Yep. And buildings have a core thing that those are the facilities at the moment. You know, different shops, food shops, what do we hear? Hat Hats, shops. Hats, uh, drinks, food. So, yeah, probably everybody's going to be thirsty when they come out of the ride. So, yeah, you, you rotate that around the way you want. So, let's say we let it face here. Let's zoom in a little bit. Good. Okay, yeah. There we go. Oh, why? Why you stop your way? Stay smooth. Yeah, the camera. I got stuck a bit. That's fine. Okay, and yeah, we can we can rotate that a bit further. Yeah, we don't have no mouse mouse mats here. That is a flaw. Ah. Okay. Let's say we put. Oh, oh did you right click? Or? Yeah, I right click. Ah, right. Just talking about how easy the controls are. And, <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's put it here. And then you get this grid. Right, and everything um, that comes with in, within this grid belongs to this building. Then I got told, so that's uh, right. So you can make different sizes of buildings. Let's say make it this big. If I just wanted to to get the grid and uh, not the building there, how would I do that? Uh, you could just you could just right click on that building if you wanted to remove that. Okay. There you go. There you go. Can I, can I make the grid bigger now? Uh, no, that grows with the building. So oh, anything, okay. yeah, it's not, it, it puts a bounding box around whatever you're building okay. at the time. So let's say I put that down and I want to have like a 4x4 four four around it. Oh, okay. So what you'd need to do is you'd start getting your wall pieces and you'd start building them okay, around so that. Yeah, so the, the, uh, the grid is drawn as a guide around what you're already building. So you'll need to okay. place another object down okay. to change the grid. All right. So if, you, so, uh, so if you just click on the uh, this trap again and then go to the edit menu at the top, which is yeah. the pencil, yeah. there you go, you're back in that mode. And if you go to walls yeah. and you start picking some just blank white walls, would probably be a good place to start. Yeah. Uh, those are the half height ones. So if you want the full height yeah. ones, then um, you get those ones. And just start, just start sticking them down. Uh, okay, and the grid extends. All right. That's, That's right. Good to see. And then that is a nice animation already. I got a little demonstration beforehand to learn something. But look how the oh how yeah, we tried to put in little details like that. Yeah, we can. I like that. So yeah, let's make a little little something here. And I also think we maybe need another food store or something. Premium food. Okay, there's cheap and premium food, I guess. <laughs> right uh, now. At the moment, I think they're all yeah. premium food. But later <laughs> on, you'll have all different types. Yeah. Okay, we can. Slap that down right next to it, and um, is there? Can you? Oh yeah, this W also works. And yeah, then let's get some more walls. Uh, that's the wall extras. If we oh, just yeah. go to the walls, yeah. we can get those bits there. And that's, you know, I'm not gonna build the most aesthetic building now. I just want to no, try fine, just, different just play with it. different textures here. For example, here we have more like a old school castle wall. I would say. Yep. Yeah, yeah, you can build it beautiful and castles if you wish. And the detail is really nice if you zoom in. Yep. I mean, that is already on a really high level. I like that a lot. It's really nice to see. And here we have a different wall that is wood. Yeah. Wooden planks, pretty much. Come around here to this side. And uh, rotate that. 
So yeah, we have a basic ugly building. Yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> Maybe it's a bit of all the walls. Yeah, there's auto stacking in there. So there is also stacking, yeah. You can see that it automatically aligns the walls on top. But you can also um, freely move um, you know, walls around. It is done with control and yeah, you can it's pretty flexible. So you can be sure of that. And yeah, of course there's also round and bending shapes and whatnot. It probably won't fit here so great now, but um, you can guess, you know, the creative freedom you can have with that system. So Yeah, we've tried to think of all the combinations that people might want to use and model pieces that tessellate nicely. Mm, you could put these on top here. Exactly. You know, exactly. And, um, have a facade like that and then you have obviously different roofs and different colors. That looks cool, a steel curved roof, like that. And you try to automatically snap up there and then you would just scoot it down, you know, so That's it. it fits nicely. So it, it's really, it goes slight of hand almost, it's like, it's, yeah, it's easy to do. It's nice. Is that on the right hand? No, I think I'm right over. Yeah. Oh. Right click removes the part, right? Yeah. Yeah. We've tried to make this as sort of easy for people yeah. as possible. So it's very accessible, but it's also it takes a long time to master. So you can you can go to incredible detail if you're willing to put the time in. If like say if you just want to chop down a few bits, we've tried to make that really simple. Yeah. Really really familiar to people. We have some slides there. There's, a, there's a tiny little bit of alpha fighting there, but that, that's yeah. all gonna get that I think that's actually already fixed. Yeah. And um, yeah, after we're done with the basic shape, I mean, this building totally makes no sense. It's gonna rain in there, <laughs> but um, you can stick some signs and things yeah, on it if you like. You have all kinds of stuff here decorative aspects, what a, a glass canopy over it, for example. And what else do we have here? Decorative like columns and pipes and you know, ro roller coaster parts sticking out of it if you want to. Can, you can wrap it around the building a bit like that. Yeah. That's it. So, you know, add some details like that. That's pretty cool. And of course, there's signs. I mean, people need to know where they're going to here. Milkshakes, drinks. And can all these decorations will snap to the surface yeah. that they're applied on. So. You can attach it to the grid by pressing, what was it? Alt. Uh, alt will yeah. attach it exactly to uh, the grid. But by default, that's here. just a free form. Or you can also freely post it, put it down. So we would stick that to the corner here. Here, come get milkshakes, suckers, <laughs> make us rich. Can you um, change the size of these uh, elements or is it uh, Not fixed? at the moment. I'm not sure yeah. if that's something we're planning to do, but it, would yeah. be, it certainly would be nice. Here. Normal size, I don't know. Here. Beef, you know, come here, get drunk, eat. That's what you do. <laughs> Go on ride. roller coasters. Oh, people are already. Oh, people are on their way to your ride, yeah. Yay! And oh, these guys have just gotten off your ride, actually, yeah. Yeah. And we, oh, that means we need to connect it here so they come to the shop, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Right like, now, there is no full econom economy system implemented. No, not yet. The alpha yeah. is actually just a building sandbox. We're yeah. just letting people play with the building components of the game while yeah. we work on the management game. Yeah. We're planning to make the most complex simulation of any park game that, yeah. that's available. So yeah. it's going to be a very deep game. A lot of people about. riding this. Yep. Yeah, they're queuing good up. Good people, good people. Nice. They're crazy. They want to go on that ride. <laughs> <laughs> There we got a little mascot running around. Oh, that's Chief Beef, our, our esteemed mascot. He doesn't want to go on the ride, he's going to carry on just walking around and entertaining people. And yeah, you told me about uh, later these uh, mascots will also act even more realistically. Right now they just walk around, but they will amass crowds, you know, and, and entertain right. the people. They'll do little performances, they'll entertain people, and also they'll have um, other animations for when they get demotivated or if they get overworked. Yeah. They've got a full suite of animations for that. So if you're not paying your guys enough or if they, they're way too stressed, you'll see that in them and they'll start to perform more badly. And people won't really be as cool. happy. Where was the lights? Was that here? Uh, that's under decorations. Ah, decorations. Cool. Yeah, so we have different lights. You have uh, light spots here, for example, which is really interesting. You can to, hold Z and yeah, take that off the to, to, to create some mood lighting, you know what I mean? I mean, that is really cool. If the mouse is a bit sticky with, with no uh, mouse pad here, I have to say, but that is, that is something you can live with. And then, you know, you see the, the light obviously 
also reflects on the buildings, which is really cool. Yep. And you were talking a bit about the light engine, so it's a pretty powerful engine. It's got a right? very powerful lighting yeah. engine. Our, our yeah. engine can support 256 lights per pixel. Yeah. Uh, and and it just looks brilliant. So you can you can add as many lights as you feel like, and it will all still stay performant. They won't all cast shadows, but they will all look fantastic. And you, can, yeah. you can see here, you, as as the uh, day night cycle takes us into night time, it gets more and more important to light up your park. People don't want to walk around in the dark. There's a box light. I just picked what's it, the box light ahead. I want one to point upwards. Is that possible to? Oh, do you want a um like a lamp post or something yeah, like that? Yeah, if you go to scenery. Um, you've got a lamppost right here, ah, yeah. if you wanted to just illuminate your parts. Ah, there you go, and then you can have the people sitting in the dark here, that would suck a bit for them. And we've got themed ones as well, so we've yeah. got um, lanterns and torches for your pirate here's, area. Here's so you can, skull, yeah, you got a little skull, skull on the yeah. I think this one's a little flaming torch that you can use over yeah. on the left. And there's also a lot of decorative elements, for example, you know here and you can also sink them in the ground I saw which is pretty cool you know that gives you variation like this like, looks really cool that it's half half sunk in there and um, there's also quite some massive pieces like you know <laughs> the mighty kraken, kraken yeah the kraken. Yes. I mean that is uh, that is crazy so later um, like for example, if I put a lot of effort in making a cool food shop there, yeah, will that affect uh, its business, or is it like um, you know people only okay they need to drink and they will go there anyway? So if you make it really lo cool looking, is that something? Uh, if you make them really cool looking, um, we want to reward the players' creativity by making yeah. sure that if they make something look really cool, it does actually react. That is actually uh, reacting in the simulation as well. So if something's well lit and really nicely decorated, yeah. people are going to respond more positively to it than if it was just a you know, an empty shop in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, cool. People will be much happier to go to that brightly lit, beautiful shop. Fountain bays, and then you can, I don't know, you know okay, yes, go crazy okay. on that, put a ship statue in there. Whatever yeah, we, you want to do, it's already pretty flexible. That's, that's really nice. Try to leave it open yeah. to the player so they can decide what they do with this, with yeah. this system. Boom. There you go. Those style. You know, I mean... And you've got the makings of a little pa yeah. uh, pirate theme there. You've already started. You know, you can yeah, start working exactly. into that, and before you know it, you've got a whole pirate land. Yeah, later then when the uh, terraforming comes in play, that obviously opens up a whole new level of gameplay possibilities. We saw the map I just showed you, you know, with the kraken there in the middle of the volcano kind of thing, and it was that looked already pretty cool. Obviously, you have um, nature here, you know. Good old Keralis, like he always says, if when in doubt, throw down with some bushes. Bushes. <laughs> <laughs> bushes and trees. Uh, bushes and trees, it makes things look always a little bit better. Look, already so even the better. trees around us, you see yeah. like the, the, the leaves will be slightly reacting to the yeah. wind and things like that. So we try to keep the park alive like There's some rocks you can put down already, different sizes. And can I uh, change the daylight cycle, or is it like... Uh, well, you can speed up time at the yeah. moment. If there is a, a specific time of day, I can, I can yeah. debug to it. But. Yeah. Um, let's, let's speed up time a bit and uh, the Kraken obviously moves a bit faster. Oh yeah, everything goes a bit quicker. <laughs> yeah, this Where is, is this arms? Speed. I want to wanna try out one. Uh, the arms are just right next to him. We're going to have different sized arms as well. At the moment you've just got that one, but we're going to have big ones and small ones, so you can mix them all up a little bit. Well, yeah. Oh, terrifying. Yeah. And you see that even though the the intention would be that you actually try to hide all those hydraulics, yeah. that doesn't mean that we didn't model them. We put all that detail in. So if, yeah. I mean, if you zoom in, you can see that we've we've really made sure that those hydraulic systems actually work realistically and that yeah. they're all modelled in there. Even though I remember ninety percent of people will probably try and hide them in the ground so you don't ever see them, but they're there. This is a real mechanical thing, just like yeah. a real thing. <laughs> It's really cool. It's nicely done, I have to say. Yeah. Guys Authenticity is really a lot of, important. A lot of effort into detail. It's really great to see. I mean, people who play these games, they are into detail. Absolutely. They want to create this perfect park experience, this perfect thing. And uh, if you're limited in your creativity, that's never a good thing. So, well, we're those people. Yeah. We're the people that want all that, all that detail, all yeah. that creativity in. So we want to put it in there. And we've got guys uh, who've been working on roller coaster games for 13 years. Yeah. They are obsessed with theme parks. They know everything about every ride, and they they want to try and make sure it all gets into this game. Yeah. Oh, pirate band. Oh, there you go. They've just started performing. If yeah. you go over there, they're animating. Oh, yeah. so. They wind up and wind down. 
Yeah, they, little mechanical yeah, band. Yeah, they do their little thing. <laughs> it's yeah. a monkey there. Yeah. <laughs> did you make that animation? I did not. With some very <laughs> talented people where I work <laughs> made that. So Johnny and Oscar, where I work, uh, brilliant really nice. animators. They do a great job. You know, on that. and then there's some stuff you can you can put there too, like. Right here. You know, I can uh, see the sun starting to come up now, so we've yeah. almost done a full day night cycle. Yeah, I wanted to show that how, how things look differently over time. And we have an epic party. Won't you come and visit this one? Yeah. This is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so put, these guys seem to like it. Yeah. I'll be coming in. Would you like me to show you uh, what you can do with the terrain editing tools? Oh yeah, that, would be, that would so be really great I to see. Yeah. I can't show you them uh, as they work now, but I can show you what some of our artists have built with them. So yeah. if I take you over to... Let's check out some more pre-made parks. I mean, I think that now we get the basic mechanics of it already. And obviously later down, when you can um, create your own coasters, the same principles of flexibility um, are applied. Holy wow, okay. Yeah. So in the other parks you just saw that we made little hills and tunnels and things yeah. like that, but then one of our artists got a hold of the system and he decided to build this golem. And he built this all using our tools. He's not pre-modeled anything, he's not imported anything from Maya or anything like that. He's just, okay. he's made that himself. Okay, that obviously <laughs> takes it to a next level. Yeah, but I wanted to show you this because so it gives you the idea. Of, it, yeah, it's so flexible. It's like having a modeling package okay. in the game. I you just thought, okay, you can probably detail. elevate and raise stuff. Oh, no, no, no. no. <laughs> and then okay. if you wanted to build a coaster that went straight yeah. through this, Golem, wow, the, okay. tunneling, the tunneling system on the coaster building system would just tunnel straight through that automatically. You could have a coaster that looped all the way through and went all the way around him. Through his mouth, out of his hands, oh. uh, all of that stuff's available to you, and it's and it's it's easy to do. It's easy to do. I mean, I can't wait until people get their hands on that terrain wow. and some tour because I wanted to show you this because this shows you that this is how you make your park unique. Yeah. Everyone else can use the modern scenery things, but you know only Rad could build this golem, and he's he's made this beautiful thing. So your park, <laughs> this is at the centre of it, and then you could build paths that went around it. I mean, you could you could flatten off the top and put a ride on top of it if you yeah. really wanted to. The flexibility is there, so you can go from the realistic to the completely fantastical. In this game. That is pretty cool. We've just got I one other say, really good one. Yeah, let's, um, let's, let's check it out, man. And, um, I'll I'll show you a, I didn't expect that. Yeah, that it's is, a lovely one to show people because um, that is quite a, quite impressive. Man, I have to say, man. Yeah, so I just really want to show people that we really want to take the limits off with this. Mm. So this is a beautiful tree that the same Ooh. artist made. Wow. But you can see that he's actually been quite practical with it and he's made a little cove in there and he's built all yeah. of his things around it. So if you built, you know, he's got a little tunnel that goes through there and if you pass all the way through. And yeah, uh, you definitely don't have to lay low with the lights. You can already see that. Yeah. Oh no, he's covered this in lights. And you can see yeah. it's just as performant as before yeah. when it had uh, almost no lights in it. runs really smooth. So sometimes the recording software oh, yeah. takes a bit um, off off the smoothness, but I can tell you guys I'm looking straight at it on, on the screen and it really runs smoothly. It's like maybe my movement was a bit jerky and stuff uh, when I was controlling it, but I have I can confirm it already runs pretty smooth. Um, build size, I see an outline there. Yep, so at the moment in the alpha that's the maximum limit, yep. but we expect that to change. I mean, that's basically going to go up. Yeah. Um, we can't give you an exact figure of how much it's going to go up by, but we're going to push that out to as far as we can get it, but still keep the game performant and uh, practical. Yeah. We'll try and get it all in there, but yeah. It's, yeah, it's still quite a big size. Thing. Um, if there's a too small of a build size, people don't like that. I yeah. can tell you already. Yeah, no. Mistakes have been made with other simulation games. Absolutely. Not calling any names, but build size always was a big, big topic. No, we're well aware yeah. of that. We want to make sure that if people want to build an enormous park that covers acres and acres, we're going to try and push that as far as yeah. we possibly can, obviously, but still keeping the game running nice. Yeah. yeah.